the Milwaukee Bucks have pulled off a really, really good trade. So they are acquiring Jay Crowder in exchange for four second round picks is what it originally was labeled as. Now it sounds like it is a three-team deal with the Pacers, and the Pacers were able to swing it. So they got Jordan Nwora and I believe two second-round picks as well. So that's a good deal for the Pacers because I don't know what the Pacers are giving up. It hasn't really sounded like there's much they're giving up. They are waving Gogo Batadze, apparently, to acquire Jordan Nwora, which kind of interesting because they have James Johnson on their team. It's a little weird to me. They wouldn't just wave James Johnson. Um, but either way, they are waving Gogo Batadze, and then they are acquiring Jordan Nwora, and I believe the Nets are getting four second-round picks. That's what it sounded like originally, that the Nets are getting four second-round picks in exchange for Jay Crowder, but I think there might be more to it because I am a little confused on what the Pacers are giving up. If they are giving up second-round picks, that wouldn't make sense to me because they are acquiring second-round picks as well. So I don't really know what the Pacers are doing in all of this because it was said that the Bucks gave four picks and they got back Jay Crowder. But if the Pacers are getting two, that would mean the Nets are getting two. What else are the Nets getting? Because I'm assuming the Pacers are sending the Nets something as well. And I don't really know what that would be, whether that's like TJ McConnell. I don't think that's what it would be, but I don't really know what this could be. So for the Bucks, let's just look at it for what we do know right now. Jay Crowder, really good acquisition for the Bucks. Uh, I think that he's going to play a pretty big role there. And I feel like that is the exact type of player the Bucks have needed. Uh, ever since they lost PJ Tucker, they've kind of needed that type of player. I know PJ Tucker's not as good as he used to be at this point in his career, but when he was on the Bucks, they were a championship team. And ever since then, they really haven't had that much of a guy. Like they've tried to make Bobby Portis that guy. And I just don't really feel like he has fit that role. Now, Jay Crowder hasn't played at all this season and he is in his mid or early thirties, I believe. So he may not be as good as he used to be either but he has made it to the finals multiple times before he made it with the Suns I believe he was on that Suns team that went to the finals yeah he was and then he also made it with the Heat he has never won the finals but he's been on two finals teams in the past like four years so um, he has some good experience and I think that he could definitely just jump right into that starting lineup if you look at their, their lineup they're probably going to run it's going to be a Drew Holiday um that shooting guard spot I'm not really sure that's kind of the ones up for grabs and now that I think about it with Chris Middleton coming back from injury Jay Crowder probably won't start because you have Giannis at the, the power forward Chris Middleton at the small forward your center is going to be Brooke Lopez so Jay Crowder might have to come off the bench but there is a world where they just kind of start really big lineup with Drew Holiday Jay Crowder Chris Middleton Giannis and Brooke Lopez or Giannis at the center in the playoffs that could work I think but Brooke Lopez has had a defensive player of the year type caliber season so they might keep him in but I really like this trade for the Bucks. I think the Pacers got a little steal with Jordan Nawara because I think he is a pretty solid player that didn't get any minutes really but I'm definitely curious for what you guys have to say uh definitely let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments because there's gonna be a lot of more trades that go down today and this is just couple of them that have happened that I've made a video on this morning but let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to leave a like though subscribe and turn notification bells to all see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe peace